My name is Patrick Shea. Je m'appelle Yann Frédéric Plestinski. Hi, I'm Catherine McKenna. My name is Tanya DeMello. My name is David Sandomirsky. I graduated in 2008, and I'm currently doing my doctorate in law at the University of Toronto. I was Privacy Commissioner of Canada for 10 years. I'm currently the Director of Diversity and Equity at the University of Toronto in Scarborough. Je suis le président et le copropriétaire d'un studio d'effets visuels et d'animation qui s'appelle Digital Dimension. I'm a partner and a corporate lawyer at Blake Castles and Graydon, a large cane law firm in its Montreal office. I went on to co-found an organization called Canadian Lawyers Abroad, and now I'm running for the federal Liberal Party uh, to be the MP in Ottawa Centre. When I graduated from law school, I was offered a place in one of Canada's large and prestigious law firms. I guess most young lawyers would jump at that, but I said to the partner who was trying to recruit me that I'd chosen to go to basically a women's rights organization in the government. And I was very happy with the choice I made. It gave me a lot of career satisfaction. And uh, finally, I guess at the end, this was recognized as a way of practicing law. So there's non-conventional choices that you can make. So I had a kind of an unusual career. I uh, wrote my New York bar and then went off to practice law in Indonesia. Uh, when it was almost time to go home, uh, there was an opportunity to go work with the United Nations in East Timor. Uh, so I spent a year there. It was uh, in the lead up to East Timor's independence negotiating a treaty. I'm teaching uh, here at McGill in the Advanced Common Law Obligations course. McGill really taught me that law was this exciting human endeavor for understanding how human beings work. It wasn't this arcane study of these formal rules that, you know, we happen to learn and, and, and have to get to know, but really was an expression of the best possible solutions that human beings can come up with for living together. Je suis un membre de la classe de 1999. Et tout de suite après que j'ai fini à McGill, j'ai descendu à New York pour travailler un très grand cabinet américain. And one of the wonderful opportunities I had as a McGill Law student and soon to be graduate was that the large American law firms, um, who generally did not hire outside of the United States and tended to hire really among eight or ten or fifteen uh, of the top U.S. law schools, treated McGill in almost the exact same way as it did Harvard, Columbia, Stanford, Yale, NYU. I ended up leaving the faculty in 2000. Articled at Fask and Martineau, doing mergers and acquisitions financing and a bit of entertainment law. The year I was jumping into uh, partnership, I decided that um, I needed to, uh, to be on the other side of the table and um, jump in the entrepreneurial world. We have a chance to have a certain employee in my land, in Montreal. Uh, et nos clients sont uh, un peu partout sur la planète, principalement des studios américains en uh, cinéma, télévision, jeux vidéo, uh, publicité. J'étais commissaire à la vie privée euh, lorsque le phénomène des, des médias sociaux, les nouvelles technologies, a vraiment pris son essor. Et euh, pendant cette, euh, cette période qui était très effervescente, euh, il fallait appliquer une loi assez neutre aux nouvelles technologies. Et j'étais toujours reconnaissante à ma formation euh, à McGill de m'avoir préparée pour être flexible, mais pour pouvoir attaquer des problèmes, les tourner d'un bord et de l'autre, et dire il y a certainement une solution et, et de ne pas hésiter à innover dans le droit. The best of McGill Law is that Canadian lawyers are uniquely placed uh, to make a difference in the world. We have common law, we have civil law, we have English, we have French, we come from a variety of different backgrounds. Um, and that we can work in partnership uh, with organizations and governments that need assistance. And that was really the, the idea behind Canadian Lawyers Abroad. One of the biggest things that drew me to McGill uh, was there was a focus on human rights that I think is taken very seriously here, both in the classroom and in opportunities that McGill is able to provide to students to actually do the work. And the second thing that was really important to me that was life-changing was the dual system. So having learning about the civil law system and the common law system. This constant interplay between two systems that you study repeatedly when you come to McGill encourages you to be in constant dialogue with people. Inevitably, the people who have already studied at McGill 
have this in their bones. They know that to work together is to bring out more than you would by working alone. Je pense que le bagage le plus important qui nous est enseigné à la faculté n'est pas tant euh, le bagage juridique euh, comme tel que toute la façon euh, de réfléchir, toute la façon d'aborder euh, des situations, de penser euh, aux alternatives, euh, à l'argumentaire qui en découle aux différentes positions. Euh, et ça, ça nous suit toute notre vie. En termes de langue, je dois dire que j'ai parlé bien le français quand je suis venu à McGill, mais j'étais terrifiée de studier en français. And I asked a few professors before I even started what they'd advise. And they said, open yourself up to trying. There's a lot of help here, and there's a lot of support. So I took half my classes in French and half my classes in English, and it was extremely challenging. But what I think it did for me was it got me to, one, understand that I could do something that was very challenging, but it got me to also understand the McGill and Montreal community better. Um, I think it also got me to use different parts of my brain in terms of problem solving and skills. Um, and it's made me able to work in a, a variety of fields that aren't as open to you if you don't have the diverse language skills. Uh, donc, ça fait plus que 11 ans que je suis très impliqué uh, au niveau de recrutement pour mon cabinet ici à Montréal. En fait, deux cabinets, mon cab cabinet d'aujourd'hui, Blake's, mais aussi mon ancien cabinet à Montréal. Um, et ça fait 11 ans que je suis sur le comité de recrutement. Uh, et chaque année pendant la course au stage, c'est très, très clair, uh, pas, pas juste pour ceux qui, comme moi, viennent de McGill, mais pour tous les membres du comité, que les étudiants de McGill sont vraiment parmi les plus euh, recherchés à Montréal euh, et au Québec. Euh, C'est reconnu par presque tout le monde comme la meilleure faculté de droit au Québec. Euh, donc, à cause de cela, n'importe quand qu'on voit un candidat de McGill, on sait que normalement, ou très, très souvent, c'est quelqu'un de très haute qualité. Five out of six young lawyers that we hired were McGill graduates. And it, I can assure you it wasn't nepotism. The, the, the rules are very severe. But McGill graduates were bilingual. They understood civil and common law. Uh, two of them had uh, clerked for the Supreme Court as well. So um, I was fortunate that all these wonderful people had been well prepared at McGill and could take up these huge challenges for a young lawyer, like negotiating opposite Google's lawyers from Silicon Valley. I have great role models like Erwin Kotler, who was one of my profs. And we have a really great friendship and he's a really great mentor. So it's amazing how different people from my, my time at McGill Law have come back into my career. J'ai rencontré euh, des amis absolument fantastiques euh, à la faculté. Je suis resté très proche de bon nombre d'entre eux. Euh, J'ai rencontré ma femme à la faculté de droit. It really is a lifelong membership to a pretty cool club. If you come to McGill and you dive right into it and you embrace this radical idea of legal pluralism and transystemia, you're setting yourself up for a lifetime of broadened horizons in law. You're making yourself incredibly agile, incredibly adaptable. And I think this comes from an almost permanent sense of intellectual curiosity that McGill fosters. Once a McGill Law student, always a McGill Law graduate.